When I was about five years old, I wanted to be an iron woman. All my older brothers and sister, they all went through a surf club. It was a great culture down there and I guess that's why I really loved it. It was hard parting from surf club, but I think I found my passion. So I left and I haven't looked back since. Like any kid, I uh, did a lot of running around at lunchtime, enjoying sports. PE was my favourite subject. A lot of the time I was just going to the Oval and, and you know, throwing the ball around, having a good time with you know, my two brothers. But it was just having a good time, you know, telling us some stories and you know, having a laugh and, and spending time with family. The reason you had a patch in the second half was because your intensity was so good on the line. It was the same play, different little bit. Touch football is an opportunity for people to play a non-contact sport. It's a pretty fast-paced game with uh, obviously people with some handy footwork and different skills that they bring to a team. But uh, it's certainly action-packed and uh, certainly good to be involved with. It is a very hard and fast game. A lot of people have an image of social touch, which can be very slow and <laughs> not as um, strategic as um, elite touch is played. It's also a game that the, the first division that they can be involved in is under eights. And they have national divisions that go up to you know, over 50s, where you can play for your club, you can play for a region, you can play for your state, and if you're good enough, you can play for your country. So, so that's certainly an opportunity for people that you know, regardless of what age they are, they can certainly be involved with. From 1999 up until 2008, I was a part of the Queensland Men's Open team. In 2002, made my debut for Australia at Coffs Harbour. I was involved in three World Cups for Australia. Now I'm, I'm only playing socially. Not playing so much will mean that uh, I can put some time into coaching, which uh, I'm really passionate about. My family have been big supporters of me and without them I would not be where I am today. Dad used to play back in the day. I have been coached by him on a number of occasions. I have sworn that it will never happen again, but <laughs> no, he's, he's awesome. And the support from both um, my mum and dad has been amazing. Like They sort of have instilled in me values that have helped me get to this level because without those values I, I would have never trained as hard, I wouldn't have been committed or loyal to some team so it's those things that have paved the way basically for me to get where I am. Good morning guys and welcome to the 2013 Queensland State Championships. We're all going to have a great carnival. We've got teams from all over Queensland as well as all the way from Papua New Guinea. We've got defence teams. It's going to be a fantastic day. I hope you've all had a great breakfast. Got lots of energy. Let's have a good day. I am responsible for other people on the field, like my actions. They can make or break a team. We can win or we can lose based on one person's efforts. It's not just an individual sport and that's what I, I really love about it. You're accountable for your actions because you're playing in a team. Yeah, mate, mate, no, 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 no. Eric! Yeah. 
Okay, guys, I'm here with Riki Watago, current Australian representative. Who did you play just then, Riki? Uh, we, ju we just played um, Papua New Guinea, so that was a bit interesting. They don't have the traditional sort of style that we play in Queensland, so they pulled out a few moves that caught us off guard a bit, but yeah. it was good. Mm. So do you think um, you might like to have a trip over for a carnival at Papua New Guinea oh, one day? definitely. Who would say no? That would be awesome. Well, this stage I've only played in Australia New Zealand, so anywhere would be awesome. Playing for Australia is just amazing and every time you step out on that field in the green gold it makes me speechless because it is just a great feeling to know that you've been selected to play for your country and you're one of 15 of the best players in Australia basically so yeah it's just a, it's a great feeling to know that you've your efforts and all your training has been acknowledged and you're at the right place with your skills and so much so that you get the opportunity to represent Australia. They scored the first couple of tries early because one of their tries, they had a touch here. The next touch, because we rolled all the way, we rolled 15 metres to five metres out. We're never going to stop the play when you roll 15 metres. Take a step up and don't roll. Let's go, everything we got. One, two, three, four. Come on. Come on. Boys, here, 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 quick, quick, quick. We're starting to get the control, they're starting to bite, they're starting to talk. Stay with our control, we're on the roll. Cheers mate. Thanks mate, well played. Thanks Pete. Cheers mate, cheers. Mookie, thanks buddy. Thank you, cheers mate. Guys, I'm here with one of our favourite Aussie reps, Phil Guymore. Phil, obviously you're not playing today. Time-wise as a coach, uh, yeah, how, how does that compare to being a player? I think as a player, you can focus just on obviously your training, your preparation and what your coach expects of you when it comes to the tournament and the role you can play for your team. But as a coach, your concern is for the whole team in terms of their preparation, how are they going to get to those training runs that are a $300 plane flight. So it's, it's understanding what they might be going through and, and having played a little bit myself, well, it means that I've probably had to you know, sacrifice a few things in terms of making myself available so I know what they're going through. So. Mm. It's yeah, so probably mate. trying to do the right thing for them. Come here, let's get a balls in here. Don't bite, stick to our game. But now it's time to start following up some of the things we've been talking about with a bit of action. Right. One, two, three, oh. Let's go, Panda Bar, you got that! Yeah. Boy, the game. Yeah. 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 Go, yeah. Yeah. yeah, back up! Running now. Go direct, go direct. Down the track, uh, I want to coach some higher level stuff, pass on a few of my experiences, learn a couple of things as well as a coach from people that I've got a lot of respect for in the game. It might mean an assistant coaching position for an Australian team or, or maybe even a head coaching position down the track. So obviously I need to take one step at a time, but if I get an opportunity to coach at an Australian level, uh, I'll certainly grab with both hands. Touch has brought a lot of opportunities my way. It's opened up a lot of doors also outside of playing touch football and employment. I've been lucky enough to be involved in the National Aboriginal Sporting Chance Academy and we go to Indigenous communities to teach sport and promote healthy lifestyles. So if I wasn't playing touch, I wouldn't have anything to offer. So yeah, touch has definitely brought lots of opportunities my way and I'm very grateful for those. We're not looking to step back because it's way too slippery. You don't play sport to, to win titles or, or to get test caps. You, you play because of the memories you have, the experiences, the friendships you have. I think touch has just been one opportunity to do that. So I think uh, I've been pretty fortunate that, that I made a decision to put in some work and I've been lucky enough to, to be able to be involved in the sport at a high level for, for a really long time. So if it can continue for me to have that involvement, uh, 
I certainly enjoy it and uh, certainly I'd, I'd uh, step up and still have another challenge of trying to push myself to be a little bit better so that uh, I can pass on to other people some of the fun that I've had but, but then some things that they can, they can do to help their experience. So if they've had half as much fun as what I've had so far, I think uh, they'll, be, they'll be well in front.